Hi, my name is Joe Acaba. I'm a NASA astronaut, but anybody that knows me knows I'm just an average Joe. Can you call in sick? I'm not sure who you would call, but uh, luckily we go into quarantine a few weeks before launch and we get to the International Space Station not sick. And since we all do that, we don't get sick on ISS. That's pretty cool. Do you get days off? Uh, we try to. Uh, we work pretty hard Monday through Friday. Uh, they try to give us a half a day off on Saturday and usually Sundays we try to keep that as a free day. But having days off is pretty important. You got to rest the body and the mind. Uh, do you file taxes from space? If you're up there during that period of time, you do have to file taxes. I guess you could uh, ask for an extension. Luckily, I got back in February, so I made it in time to file my own taxes. Do you have roommates on the ISS? Yes, there's usually a crew of six on the ISS, but we have our own little crew quarters, so we do have a little bit of private space. You know, you can imagine six people living in a five bedroom house for six months. You get to know them pretty well. Was there any language barrier on the ISS? So we kind of resort to whatever language the other person knows better. So there's all kinds of languages going on. Sometimes there's a language barrier, a little miscommunication, but you just got to work through that. Do you have movie nights on the ISS? Yes, we try to have a movie night, usually on Saturday nights. It was kind of cool. We all get together. We got a big screen and a projector. The cool thing is you're up in space, you're floating around. So you put bungee cords on handrails and then you just kind of hang out and you float and you watch the movie. So the best movie theater off the planet. How do you do laundry? It's beautiful. On ISS, we don't do laundry. We throw our clothes away. It's awesome. What's your favorite thing to do in microgravity? Float. So did you lose anything while you were on ISS? We lose things all the time and it's kind of frustrating. And you can tell when you float into a module and you see an astronaut doing this, you know they lost something because you're just trying to see, does it catch the corner of your eye? Is it gonna bounce off of a wall? Uh, we had one crewmate, I'm not gonna tell you who it was, who actually lost like an iPad. He had it, then he didn't have it, and we couldn't find it. Uh, we looked, we looked for weeks, we tried to find that iPad, and then one day I was just cleaning on a Saturday, and there was the iPad just floating in the module. So I don't know where it went. So losing things, it's frustrating, but it happens because things float.